pause and copy all of this, and then we'll get cracking. Pause and copy. Okay, the definition of the derivative can be done in another way. Let's see the connection. Um, let's see the connection with the original definition. Uh, let's try a sub. We'll take um, that x there, and we'll replace it with a plus h. And we'll get uh, f prime of a is limit uh, a plus h goes to a f of a plus h minus f of a all over a plus h minus a. And you can see that we have recovered the original definition that we gave earlier. Um, here you treat the treat the arrow like it's a equal sign and you cancel off the a's giving you h goes to zero. Okay, so via this substitution the original definition can be connected to this alternate definition. All right, now let's use the alternate definition in number one here to find a tangent line, or no, find a slope of a tangent line. So we're looking for a tangent line at x equals one, so f prime of one is going to be limit x goes to 1 f of x minus f of 1 all divided by x minus 1. And we'll work this out. f of x, that's my x squared plus x minus f of 1, which is 2, all divided by x minus 1. Now, presumably, the top is going to factor. What do we get? Um, beep, 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 x plus 2, x minus 1, upstairs there. Yeah, cancel, cancel. And you get limit of x plus 2. Now, x is going to 1. So, my limit is 3. And this is my slope. Now, part 2 is find an equation of the tangent line at the point one two so for part two we have a tangent line or just any line is y equals ax plus b and i'm going to plug in my slope is a you know what i use the letter you know i've used the letter a already today where I've been using the A left and right up here, so <clears throat> when we choose a letter, a different letter than A, I'll choose the letter M. That will have your notes make a little bit more sense. So here's my line, y equals mx plus b. My slope is M, and M was found earlier to be 3. Um, and that's when x is 1, y is 2. So we plug these things in to our line and get 2 is equal to 3 times 1. It's 3 plus b. So b is negative 1, giving us y is equal to 3x minus 1. 